consumes mm. 10 times more energy per cell than any other part of the body. When you're recording from that many neurons, and then we remember that neurons are expensive from a metabolic perspective, even just one extra potential. When we, you know, I'm trying to anticipate some of the more computational questions we'll get to, but when you're recording from this many neurons and starting to think about how the brain encodes information, how do you have to anchor that in thinking about metabolism and efficiency from like an AT, literally an ATP perspective? I'm just, you know, the, the efficient coding hypothesis is kind of its, its main kind of umbrella, uh, but it has like a very lim now it has a very limited kind of computational budget because it has small number, relatively small number, it's still like a hundred thousand, small number of neurons, um, a very limited budget energy wise, and all of a sudden, those efficiency constraints um, start to kind of not apply as much anymore. You cannot let the constraint limit the kinds of things you might do. Um, what, are, what I mean by that is bigger brains, especially in humans, they have to solve these kinds of complicated problems that um, we are not even sure how you would solve them at the level of, of a neural network. Mm -hmm. Ways of connecting neurons that you wouldn't have thought about that maybe like happen by chance at some point during evolution, the places that are kind of hard to escape from and really kind of optimize efficiency, which is why the brain is not very efficient, right? Mm -hmm. Consumes 10 times more energy per cell than any other part of the body.